Hey, well, so much has changed behind the scenes here, really. And it's finally time to let you know what has actually been going on. First thing, we have a new channel to announce. Second thing, the game studio. Well, our game has a publisher and we've been in real production since March. Also, our team is larger on YouTube. We've got even more stuff planned, more than ever. So, you know what? Let's go. All right, this channel has been renamed. It's now called Bellular Warcraft. And nothing other than that's going to change. Nope, we're not cutting and running. Videos are going to be continuing as normal. The WoW lore, etc., will continue. Our new channel, Bellular Gaming, a bit more accurately named, really, is for the other MMORPGs. Maybe we'll go into RPGs and stuff too. But you've been asking for Final Fantasy XIV content, and we've always planned to do it, but honestly, I didn't want to rush through the game because I wanted to enjoy it, even if that did kind of mean missing the boat. That channel's first video is there right now, linked below. So enjoy. And we have a bunch more content coming out this week, and expect lots of great MMO coverage, lots of MMO design content there as well, around two videos a week. First up, we're checking out FF14, then New World, and there is going to be much more beyond that stuff, and I think fairly regular FF14 content, because let's be real, that game's just really darn good, and I can't put the damn thing down anymore. So, right, find the link below, get subbed, between all of our channels, there's a lot of stuff out there for you to watch and enjoy. Okay, next, the other big thing. So, have I been lying to you all this time about game dev stuff? Well, if I have, then uh, we've also managed to dupe a publisher as well, because yes, we have signed a publishing deal. We actually signed it in March of this year, and we've been in production ever since. Uh, now, that's not, of course, counting the extensive pre-production and all of the work that actually gets, well, gets you to getting your game published. Turns out that's quite a bit. Expect a full reveal, then, of The Pale Beyond later this month. I can't just go and tell you everything, because our publisher has got to announce all of that stuff, like, you know, themselves, so I can't just, like, jump the gun, or, you know, jump the gun on them. Uh, but internally, we've almost hit alpha, with core mechanics essentially complete, and the long road of content and polish, and seeing if we can get any of those nice-to-haves, uh, that's what's ahead for us. Now, to get some expectations straight, yes, this channel covers MMOs. I mean, no, a small indie team in Northern Ireland can't go around making MMORPGs. Uh, and honestly, nor do we really want to. There's a lot of people doing great stuff in the space. The Pale Beyond is proudly a single-player narrative RPG. That's really what I want this studio to make. And I, I just think the more of that, the better. And man, this is a game, it's all about characters. It's all about a rich player fantasy. It's all been about writing a script that is designed to empower you, the player, and place you in the fantasy of, of the game. Because when I think about the best single-player narrative RPGs that, that I play, it's the likes of Mass Effect, where you really feel like that's you, you're there, you're doing things, and it's just evocative of a fantasy. And just being able to create that compelling fantasy, it's been an incredible experience. Writing for that's incredible. Uh, Thomas, who you've not seen much of, but he has been my co-founder in games. He has been there since the very beginning. We went through so much shit together. Uh, he's totally nailed it, and you'll see more of him soon too. Uh, there is really so much to share here, but I do have to wait until, you know, the whole reveal and all of that. It has been a wild journey, though. You know, games connections, games comms, a few real close calls. Uh, we ended up working with a legit big actor, which, uh, I mean, internally I was just kind of like, whew, this is cool. Um, and all of that after, you know, as you may have pieced together, we did have to can a few projects. And it's been a, it's been a wild ride. We've got lessons learned, stories to share that'll happen in good time. More on all of that later. Next, well, another update. Right, uh, so how can we do a new channel while still run this one and not like cut all the content? We've got a bigger team, so we've expanded. Uh, Ruri joined us last year and has led on marketing, so titles and thumbnails. And seriously, the, I mean, it's like two-pronged because he's done so much better of a job than, than I, he really has. And then also, that's allowed me to focus on the sorts of things that I'm really here to do, which is 
helping write videos, writing videos, helping steer the ship, run the team, recording videos. It's just let us get more content out there. And he's got a few real cool projects that he's been working on and um, stuff to help level us up. And it's going to be cool whenever that comes online. Then Dakor, who you'll have bumped into on our streams and watched uh, many of the videos that he's researched. He is now on board as a producer. So I mean, look, seriously, right? When your team gets to a certain size, you need a producer to keep things ship shape and to prevent chaos from wasting everybody's time. He hates chaos and he's killing chaos right now. And uh, then Laced joining uh, Nikki and John uh, as well on the sort of editing and production site. Uh, Laced, you'll have seen his YouTube uh, channel and you know, go check it out too. Um, he's been freelancing with us quite a bit lately, so loads of real sexy B-roll. I mean, check out our Worst Jobs in Azeroth video. It was a really fun lore video we did. He absolutely killed it. And also a shout out to Rasmus, who covered thumbnails for us uh, for a week there recently. And seriously, the <laughs> dude, you saved our asses. So that's what's been going on in terms of team. And now the Dakor is there as like a producer, we could probably manage doing more freelance gigs, you know, get some more cool shit going. I mean, there's big projects like our two-part investigation into boosting. That involves Matt interviewing people, involved loads of research. We've got a big video coming out on what's happened with gold and like the state of the WoW economy, WoW token, all of that. And again, Matt and Dakor did so much research. They were looking into so much stuff, actually going deep. And now that we've got, you know, more of a team, more time, more hammered out schedule, we can actually do those deep dive videos and actually do interesting stuff. Because, I mean, seriously, making cool shit is the reason why we're here. Simple as that. Speaking of which, there's another group we've got to thank too. Patrons, straight up, you've been fucking awesome. Seriously. Especially in these really just rough ass times. Uh, Dakor coming on board has really helped us get uh, more to you in the way of uh, like, you know, early access videos posted now that our schedules are improving, and our production's a bit better. We will, with the schedules being better, have a good bit more consistency on our podcast content. I've got two lore walkings to sit down and record with Matt that are scoped out and they'll be really fun. Oh yeah, also, lore walking, if you don't know, uh, Matt and I, you know uh, Matt from the live stream, uh, we do lore walking, which is a deep dive Warcraft lore podcast. We also do general chat about general playing WoW and other games, and then losing our marbles, which is the uh, peek behind the curtain at how we get things done over here. Now, I'm not going to make plans that are contingent and COVID not going sideways again, uh, but we are getting a lot more consistent on like loot shipping and stuff, like stuff that requires physical office space, etc. Um, and also, yeah, loot. Well, here's last month's loot. We are like just right now packing that up to ship it out. And also, here's this month's loot. So that's what you'll get if you're on this month. And once we're a bit more spun up in gaming, uh, there will be more to share, like, you know, game dev stuff. I think there's a lot the team would like to share with you guys. Um, of course, in addition to the rest of what we do. Whew. So there you have it. Um, we've got a brand new channel with a bunch more content. So go check that out. We have got, uh, you know, we're in a better state than ever in regards to game development, which is so exciting to finally have like on track and where it needs to be. Thank God we can just get down to the cool bit, which is making the games. Because the amount of things about getting started and that that gets in the way of making games. Oh boy. But now we're finally got to have making games and it feels so good. Uh, part three, team expansion. Part four, Patreon, the content there. That's what I've talked about today. Um, you'll get the game hype in the next few weeks. I cannot wait for that. And until then, the newly renamed Bellular Warcraft is this channel. And our new channel, Bellular Gaming, is in that link down below with our first video live and ready for you to watch out. So check that out. That's FF14 up there right now. We will have some new world up next and loads more coming over the next few weeks and months. So thank you for everything. And believe me, it's taken a bit too long to get here, but bloody hell, we are only just getting started. See you later. And to play us out, Here's a little bit of the Pale Beyond original soundtrack because, hey, soundscapes, they're kind of fun. So maybe I'll set a bit of mood. Have a great day.